Michael Mayer joins with the first pick today on behalf of Old Spice Swagger, delivering 24-7 freshness for that confidence needed when under the spotlight. Find Old Spice Swagger in stores near you. Mike, I'm going to be honest, uh, honest with you. I need some Old Spice Swagger after the technological difficulties we had trying to get into this interview here. But let's start at the top, uh, and let's go back a little bit. What sort of credit did Coach Ted and your dad deserve for convincing you to play football as a high school freshman? Because I know baseball was your jam. <clears throat> I think a lot. I think a lot. Um, I was a basketball kid kind of all the way, um, and I knew I wanted to play college basketball. And so going in my freshman year, I was going to play football. So it's pretty important to me that they kind of convinced me. They said, look, play two weeks. If you don't like it, you don't have to play it. And I played those two weeks. I played tight end and middle backer, and I just fell in love with it. So um, I've, I've told Coach Dad, and I've told my dad multiple times, I'm thankful that they did that and kind of made me play. That's interesting because you mentioned basketball, and I knew baseball was also part of it. And the thing with basketball, when you're trying to convert and you're not a big football guy, you got to figure out if you can be hit. So clearly you were okay with the physical contact. You're now one of the, the most physical tight ends in, in the draft. Was that transition tough? The first time you hit someone, was that – you're like, okay, I'm in. How was that like? It wasn't very tough. Um, I got an older brother. He's two years ahead of me, and he, he roughhoused me okay. all the time <laughs> growing up. So I was kind of used to that type of contact and – that type of kind of backyard football mentality. Uh, we didn't have any pads on out there. He would always have his friends over, and we would just be out there just killing each other. And so I was kind of used to it, and, uh, you know, it was an easy transition for me, and, and, and that's kind of what I showed on tape, and that's kind of what I showed going into my freshman year. No, you absolutely showed it on tape. So you know when you do, like, a Google search and it auto-completes some common questions? So I did one for, for Michael Mayer, and let's see if you know the answers to these questions here. Uh, first up, where did Michael Mayer go to high school? That's an easy one. Covington Catholic. You got it. All right, here's a good one. Is Michael Mayer a good blocker? People are asking this question. <clears throat> I think so. I think I'm one of the best blockers in the draft. Um, it, it's something I really worked on this past year. It's something that me and my tight ends coach really kind of dug into and worked on the technique aspect of it and, and thing like that. So um, I, I would say so for sure. All right, let's see if you know this one. Uh, how many receiving yards did Michael Mayer have in 2022? This past year, I think I had somewhere around 850. Is that right? You had 840 in 2021. You had 809 last season, so that's pretty close. And finally, this is the question someone asked. Who drafted Michael Mayer? So they're coming from the future. You know, I wish I, I, wish I could tell you that. I really do. But uh, we'll find out here soon <laughs> enough. We'll find out on Thursday. So I'm excited about it. It's been a long process. But I'm ready to, I'm ready to find out just as much as you know, any, any fan or any player or anybody else. Believe me. And that's the thing I want to ask you, because we talked to you at the Combine uh, for CBS Sports HQ, and you feel like a, just a normal normal guy. It, like, the moment doesn't feel too big. Obviously, you're very good at what you do. And we talked to the Combine, you said one of the questions you were asked, uh, a team asked you to sing. Is that still the weirdest thing you've had happen to you during the draft process, or has that since been topped? I think that's probably the weirdest thing. Um, that hasn't been topped. I think, you know, these coaches, these these head coaches, uh, GMs, these people that are interviewing me, they kind of know how intense I am about the game of football. So they know to kind of, you know, personal life and, and, and football, you know, I'm, I, I'm not doing any more singing, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, we'll see. Like the freshman, the, the freshman, the rookie orientation, you, you might end up on, on hard knocks depending on which team you go to. So never say never. But you just talked about how you're ready to get this process over because a lot of the things that, that we've talked about here. What's been your favorite part of the process and what's been your, your least favorite part outside of the singing? Yeah, I've, I've, I've kind of said going in, one of my favorite parts of the process was just kind of getting to know these coaches and these, uh, you know, position coaches in these formal meetings. I had a good, I had 17 formal meetings um, at the combine and I really enjoyed it. And I kind of just wanted to show them kind of who I am, what type of football player I am, how I kind of prepare and things like that. I would say the least enjoyable of this process, oh, I would just be the waiting game, man. I'm I've been ready for this for a while. I've been thinking about this since January 2nd, since I started my journey for the combine. Um, it's ready for this to, you know, kind of shut down, be over. I'm ready to start playing some ball again. Uh, Michael, if it makes you feel any better, I, I covered the draft, and I am also ready for the draft to be over because the media just drags this thing out. And I say all the time, if the draft were two weeks after the season ended, it feels like things would go a lot smoother, but, but here we are. All right, so let's ask you about Thursday night because you feel like you're almost certainly going to be a first-round pick. What, what is your plan for Thursday? Are you going to be at home with your family and friends? What, what are you going to do? We talked about it. I'm going to be at home with my family and friends. Uh, There's going to be a good little group there, some of my high school buddies, some of my college buddies. So it'll be a good night. I'm excited for it. Um, and, I'm yeah, 
just like you said, I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask you a couple of rapid-fire questions here. You can give a short answer if you want. Who was the best player you faced in college? Ooh, there was a couple good players on Clemson we faced the past couple years. I'd say Brian Brzee or Miles Murphy, two really good players there. Two guys that, like you on Thursday, might hear their name call for sure. Uh, what would you be doing if you weren't playing football? Ooh, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, uh, I'm working on a degree in history right now, so maybe I'd be teaching in uh, high school and coaching somewhere. You never know. No, I like it. I like it. All right, what's going to be your first purchase you make after you sign an NFL contract? Nothing. Put it in the bank. Save it. Man, look at you. You're a grown man. All right, look. What has it been like to partner with Old Spice and how crucial will Old Spice be as you start your NFL career? It's very important. Look, this is this is one of the best weeks of my life. Um, and, you know, their 24-7 freshness and their confidence that it gives me is very, very important. You know, when I'm, I'm at my house um, for draft night with my family, it's going to be important to smell very good. And I think it's going to be important to have that confidence that Old Spice gives me. Um, and, you know, I'm going to keep that moving forward into the season um, and keep using Old Spice and just keep having that confidence that it gives me that I need to kind of go about my daily life. Michael, as someone with an 11-year-old boy, uh, smelling good cannot be overrated, let me tell you. So I will pass that message along to him. Thank you. Good luck to you on Thursday, and good luck to you in the NFL next season. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for having me.